Hi folks, Paul Boland here and welcome to another edition of the Night Track Vlog. Today we're going to talk about three games and another movie. So let's dive right in folks. So the first game I'm going to talk about today is probably one of the oldest games I ever made. Probix Conquest was one of the first computer games that I ever made back in it's got to be around 93, 1993, 1994. It was also the very first computer game I ever made that tried to tell a story. Now, I love to tell a story with a game. Or even in a book. Uh, I've written books. You can see them on the website. This was the first game I made where I tried to tell a story. Instead of it just being a, like a, a platformer or a shooting game or a puzzle game, this had a story driven adventure to it. And the story behind it was that a number of Probix, little aliens called Probix, were um, disappearing. And there was evidence that the old Probix Warbot factory had become active again. So they send one probic into the Warba, Warba factory to find out what exactly is going on. Is the factory reactivated? And if so, to shut it down. The probics themselves are a race of people, or aliens, they're not really people, but they, they handle security through puzzles. They lock doors, secure stuff, all through puzzle interfaces. And that's what Probix Conquest is. You basically have to enter the Warbot factory and work your way through it, trying to find out what has gone wrong. Are the missing Probix in here? And is the Warbot factory reactivated? But along the way, to open doors, to deal with issues you're going to encounter, you're going to have to solve a number of puzzles. I will admit, playing it today, it, it hasn't aged great. It's a bit rough around the edges and stuff. And believe it or not, I actually do want to remake this game. I think it's good enough to have a modern update to it. Now, whether I actually get around to doing that or not is a different story. But um, if you want to stop by Night Track Productions' freeware page and check out Probix Conquest, go right ahead. Um, I think you'll enjoy trying to solve the riddle of what is going on in that game. So the next game we're going to talk about is Pepoid World. Now, anyone who is a long-time uh, viewer of the Night Track Productions website will know that I have made many games in the Pepoid franchise, but most of them just fell to the wayside due to age. They just did not age well and are gone. But Pepoid World is still around and again night track productions freeware page you can go and download it so petboid world is a puzzle game basically you control a little petboid and you've got to walk around each level stepping on every tile in that level to turn it blue and there are different types of tiles there are tiles that you've got to step on multiple times there are tiles that activate stuff there are also enemies and again it's a game to get you thinking so if you're interested in a quick game to try and solve a number of puzzles on levels and stuff check check out pet Boy world the next game we'll talk about is flow now even though this looks kind of very basic in the screen in the screenshot you see here um, it's actually quite an interesting little puzzle game Basically, you've got to control the flow of a number of water droplets and you've got to get them all the way from where they start in the level to the house, the, the sinkhole uh, in the level. It's kind of inspired by the computer game Lemmings, which I'm a huge fan of. And um, you basically, you use the mouse to place arrows to form paths for the water droplets to follow. But you've only got so many arrows and you've got different types of arrows. So uh, check it out folks. Night Track Productions freeware page again. Um, another puzzle game for you to while away the weekend on. 
So, those are the three games we're going to talk about on this episode. So let's t step into another movie. So last couple of videos, I covered my sister's first ever movie, A Burst for Freedom. First and only ever movie. Uh, last week, I covered my one, Dragon Quest. So, I'm going to do more of mine now, because that's all I've got left. <laughs> we're going to do the next one of my one, and the next one of mine... Yes, it's a movie I made, but I didn't make it in the way Dragon Quest was made. I didn't load up my 3D software and start modeling and animating. Um, this was created with a computer game called The Movies. The Movies was a computer game out by Linehead Studios, and it basically gave you the chance to build your own movie studio, hire actors, and then film movies. Of course, it was a computer game. Um, it wasn't just a piece of software for making movies. It actually had missions and goals. And of course, you had to keep your actors happy and you had to keep your studio in profit and stuff like that. When this first came out, I loved it. I absolutely loved this game and the ability to make your own movies. This spoke to me because this is what I wanted to do wanted to make my own movies. So for a long time I used this software to create movies but as I go through the movies that I made using the movies game um, I will tell you why I eventually abandoned it. But for now let's start out. So I do have a number of movies which are going to appear over the next few issues of the Night Track vlog and we're going to start with the very first one. So folks, very first movie, Station Unknown. Um, a soldier boards an underground tube train and he's heading home after being battling in the war. But he's about to find himself in Station Unknown. Until next time, folks. Bye.